I am finally making a switch from iPhone 12 Pro Max to the big boy 15 Pro Max. Was it a good financial decision? Let's find out. So up till now, I had refused to make an upgrade because the updates have been minor to my understanding. It's either the camera is better, it's always the camera is better, the battery is bigger, or it's always something super minor. And I, personally, I felt like it wasn't worth me upgrading from the 12 to the 13 or 12 to the 14 but now I decided to make a leap but some of the reasons why I did decide to upgrade obviously the camera is so much better nowadays especially going from my 12 dynamic island I've been seeing it on the 14 on my friends iPhones and I feel like it's one of those features that seems so small but it's useful and I do believe that Apple is continuing to upgrade it which will only make it greater and yeah and the third is obviously USB type C let's see what the hype is about all right let's get on with unboxing but first before I tear the box apart we can see that Apple did go back to the white because I believe it's supposed to be better for the planet we know Apple is working on being carbon neutral by the year 2030 I believe this does bring me satisfaction. Okay, first one, listen. Oh. And then, listen. Ooh. All right, let's go to the table. So right when you open it, you are greeted with this gorgeous titanium finished iPhone. Me, I honestly was kind of bummed out. I was looking for a gold model because I think they look so good, especially the fact that I went from the blue I really wanted to upgrade to the gold, but I think this still looks as good. But yeah, let's see how it feels. So taking it out, ooh, that feels good. I really like the titanium finish on it. Ooh, look at that. Before we even peel the sticker. Ooh. Yeah, I'm super excited. On the power button side, nothing major change. You still have your antenna here, the power button. The bottom is USB type C and then another big change you're going to notice the new awesome action button but majority of it it does feel super super light especially compared to another model also in a box you get probably the biggest update to the iPhone this year which is this USB type C cable it's USB type C to USB type C so Apple did decide to remove lining on the iPhone which was an awesome update not only do every other phone manufacturer support it but majority of their product already made a switch to USB type C from their Mac line to their iPad Pros so it was about time Apple make the switch in the box we see that Apple does include one of their sticker this time just one that's all you get they're trying to be environmental friendly and in their little booklet, instead of having the team ejector tool, have this little note that tells you that this phone doesn't support a physical SIM because they switched to eSIM for all their models. And then you have the little booklet, which is only a page long instead of an entire book. Yeah, that's pretty much everything in the box. Let's go ahead and power it on. So far, the material feels a lot better from the current stainless steel. There you go, you have your dynamic island up here. The phone overall just feels super, super good. Please go ahead and subscribe. I'll be posting my review soon. Thank you.